Hello and welcome. I have a haul for y'all. I recently went up to Diversity Thrift to take advantage of their Tuesday Power Hour where all clothes from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. are a dollar. Yes, you heard me right, a dollar. So I paid a dollar a piece for everything that I'm going to show you and that made everything cheaper than the bins. So I'm really excited to show you what I got, especially since a lot of this I already have to ship out because it's sold, which is why I'm filming this now. So let me go ahead and get into it and I'm going to start off with probably one of my two favorite pieces from this haul and you'll see why. This is a Union Made, so there is the Union Made label and this is a jumpsuit. It has this lovely tartan plaid up top. Uh, and then this wide leg flared bottom. So this is from the 70s. And I just could not believe that nobody wanted to buy this for a dollar. There were a ton of resellers there, y'all. I'm not kidding. I, that was the most packed I have ever seen Diversity Thrift. I did used to live in Richmond and I would go there for myself before I started like really reselling. That was the most packed I've ever seen it. Like it started, I, I went there early in order to like fill my cart and then like take advantage because I had to meet somebody at five. And like the closer it got to four, like the more and more people I started to see. It was, it was very crowded, but I still found a lot of really great stuff. And this is one of those, like the fact that nobody wanted this is insane to me. So I paid a dollar for this and I think it is amazing. It is a hundred percent polyester. So it would be a little bit toasty despite it being sleeveless to wear in the summer. But I just thought that this was too gorgeous to pass up and you all know how much I love buying and selling vintage. This is, I also, because everything was so cheap at a dollar, I'm buying a couple of things to try to see how they do. So this is uh, the Gap. And this is a curvy flare. So this is a size 16 and it is definitely flare. I do believe this is like Y2K vintage. Any... <laughs> Any of my Y2K ladies who lived during this era, like all of our pants look like this. All of them did. Had this nice little heel mark from when you took your shoes off and like we're walking around the house with them and ended up just wearing that little bit there. This has an interesting little like pointed back. So again, this makes me feel like these are vintage for Y2K. This is a size 16. So I'm gonna try these. Gap is just a mall brand. It does have a little bit of distressing down at the bottom cuffs because it's flare leg and it's a little bit longer. So we'll see how these do for a dollar. I can accept a lower offer than I normally would for denim and hopefully someone will want that. This is a pair of J. Crew, and these are 3832s. These are the 770 stretch. And they're just a basic pair of chinos. Again, for a dollar, I'm willing to pick up these mall brands uh, because even though like I'm gonna have to charge a bit more for shipping because they're heavy, uh, I still can take a lower offer on them and still make a really decent profit. So I'm really excited about those. I love buying and selling J. Crew. It still sells very well for me. Uh, so I'm going to keep picking up when I can get it for really cheap. Uh, this is another I'm going to try it type of pant uh, because these are also vintage. These are Route 66. Route 66 was a house brand of Kmart, which no longer really exists here in the United States. <laughs> So this is another flare. It's a nice, this is a slightly bigger flare, but I think that's because this is a slightly smaller size, but this is actually, no, this is a size 18. So I lied. So it has a more, a wider flare. This is a size 18 and this is the Route 66. So I'm going to go ahead and see how these do because this is a defunct style. Uh, it does also have a little bit of wear down here at the bottom because Anybody who lived through that era and wore flare jeans know that that is pretty common, <laughs> having the bottom worn out. But pick those up to try. Columbia is a brand I pick up if I can get it for really cheap, like at the bins or if it's a PFG piece. Uh, I will normally only pick up the regular stuff if I can get it for really cheap. Uh, and this was really cheap. So this is a women's size 12. It's just a basic pair of uh, cargo style, well, not even cargo. I don't know, just a basic style chino, but it does have this little extra like knife pocket. Like that's what, that's what that looks like. That's look like something you would put um, a switchblade in. So I don't know, size 12 pair of Columbia chinos. We'll see how they do. Again, 
I'm more than welcome to pick up these mall brands that I have good sell through in. I personally have good sell through in um, if I can get it for really cheap. Uh, we have some vintage items that I looked up before I decided to buy because I wanted to see if my memory served me correctly. I picked up two pairs of action slacks. So action slacks are nice dress slacks made by Levi Strauss and they're action slacks because they're supposed to have like a lot of give and stretch and they're not supposed to wrinkle, um, which is why they're called action slacks. So that is, this is what the label looks like. I'm not going to mess with that. And I have it in this nice light gray color and then this charcoal gray color. And these are different sizes um, as far as width and length. But I picked up both of these to give them a try because at this size and uh, inseam, they seem to be doing pretty well. So again, I'm, I'm willing to try stuff when I'm only paying a dollar per piece for them. This is something that I actually probably would have picked up even if it wasn't a dollar, like I would have paid regular price for this. This is uh, Santorelli as another pair of men's pants. Uh, it's, it seemed as though the most barren place in the store was the men's section. <laughs> so that's where I gravitated towards. Um, but this is Santorelli, which is a decent brand. These are made in Italy. And this is 100% virgin wool with no holes in it. This is a little bit of an older style because it does have the flipped up bottom cuff here, but 100% virgin wool and uh, it's a nice men's brand uh, for a dollar. I will definitely pick those up. Two pairs of vintage women's pants. So I was actually really surprised that these elastic waist vintage mom jeans are doing pretty well. So this is Lee. I will legitimately only pick up Lee if it's either for myself and or vintage. And both of these are made in the USA. They're the same like mom jean with no pockets on the back. They got the elastic waist and the tapered leg. So I have two of these and a dollar a piece for these. Absolutely, I will pick them up. I was very excited about that. Now, this next item, I paid a dollar for it and that's because the and the only reason I picked this up is because it was a dollar. That was because this poor dress was absolutely trashed. <laughs> this is Andrea Gale. It looks like this. The label looks like this. That doesn't matter. What matters is it that this is a vintage 70s dress, uh, union made 70s dress. And it is this beautiful Barbie pink color. And with the Barbie movie coming out this year, I was like, this is gorgeous. And then I started noticing the damage because I saw this hanging up. This sleeve was hanging on by like a thread. <laughs> I literally had to sew this sleeve back on and back together. Uh, I also, this has a pretty generous side slit. It has from like the knee down is the slit and this slit ended up going all the way up to the waistband. So this, this completely, this whole left side looks like somebody, you know, just got caught on something and just tore the dress, <laughs> but it was only in the seams. There weren't any, there aren't any holes in this dress. In addition to that, there was a blood stain back here, which is gone now. And then because I'm guessing this dress bottom had, you know, ripped to shreds, there were a bunch of like junk down here where it looked like somebody had repeatedly stepped on the hem of the dress. So that's all gone. As you can see, it's perfectly clean. So not only did this require extensive stain treatment, but I also had to basically re-sew half of the dress back together. But I'm willing to do that because this is what I feel like I can get for the dress. And it was a dollar. So I'm willing to have a project if I feel like the profit is going to be there. And for this dress, I do think so. Also because of the fact that all of the damage, almost all of it, you know, I, I'm really great at getting stains out. It doesn't take that long. And then all of the damage was in the seams. So I just needed to take my sewing machine and sew everything back together. And because it was this Barbie pink, I already had the thread. <laughs> so it was just the time to stitch it together and for wait for it to get done in the wash. So for that, I was willing to do that. So I found two beautiful vintage seventies pieces and I only paid a dollar each for them. I love it. I absolutely love it. This was another project. Um, this is Hilo Hadi. I've shown 
this brand on my channel before. They make men's and women's Hawaiian stuff because Hila Hadi is based in Hawaii. So this is vintage, made in the USA, made in Hawaii. And I picked this up because this has Hula Girl. Has a Hula Girl, lovely green floral. You can, it's green, so of course I picked it up. This is a men's size large. And what I had to do for this one is that it was missing a button. So what I decided to do is get some replacement buttons. And so I removed two of the buttons and every other button is different now but there are brown wooden buttons like the other ones and it fits in very well with the entire shirt. So that is what I did and it looks great. And now the shirt can find a new home and I paid a dollar for it, which is the big thing. This I took a chance on and I'm really surprised. This sold within 24 hours after I listed it. I decided to buy this one because it was a dollar, two because it's green, uh, and three I've had a really good luck selling uh, brewery stuff. So this is Fiden's Brewing Company, which when I looked it up is a craft brewery in New York. And so I picked it up. I tried it on. It did fit. I figured if it didn't sell within a certain amount of time, I would keep it because it's in my favorite color. And I like beer. So, But this, like I said, sold within 24 hours for my full asking price of $9.97. And they paid for shipping. And so that's why I'm filming this is because I've got to ship some of this stuff out. And surprising the ones that I am shipping out. So that's great. Uh, this is another J. Crew piece. This is the Stanton short. It's just a basic chino and this heavyweight canvas material. This is a 29 waist with a 9 inch inseam. So skinny, skinny bean pole type of man, which I'm very attracted to. So pick those up. <laughs> Again, a dollar. Uh, this, I was surprised. Nobody had picked these up for a dollar. Uh, it's a pair of seven, which I know seven is sold at Costco, uh, but they are brand new. It's a brand new size for uh, boyfriend fit. So this is the weekend easy fit boyfriend and it is a women's size four. So again, I am happily pick up new tag stuff uh, in a known brand for a dollar. This is a beautiful ditzy floral by Land's End. I pick up Eddie Bauer, Land's End, and Columbia, like the, and Orvis, the outdoorsy brands, when it's modern, if I can get it for a dollar less, like at the bins, or in this case, at the Diversity Dollar Power Hour. And this is just a beautiful ditzy floral. So a ditzy floral is like a very mm, minuscule floral print. And that's what this is. This is a size 14. So it's in a, it's a, in the larger size and it's like little tiny blue flowers uh, with little greenery in it. It's just really pretty. I know it's a long sleeve and we're kind of out of the season for it, but I just thought this was a really nice cotton basic and a really cute floral print. So uh, ditzy floral is another set of keywords that I would recommend uh, adding if you can. So if you can't do dark floral or ditzy floral, those are the two things I look out for. Or if it's like flower power, so like the big flower print from the 60s, that's also a good thing. I also found Lulu, Lululemon, for a dollar. Uh, I think it's just because this doesn't have the size tag in it anymore, but I felt this. I saw that it didn't have the size tag, but it had this like little remnant of one, and I felt it, and I was like, this feels like Lululemon. And then I saw the Lululemon here on the back. And then I also checked the pocket because again, if it's not, if it's an older Lululemon piece that doesn't have the size dot. So I found the pocket, uh, the zipper does have the Lululemon symbol on it. And then it has the size dot as well. So this is a size four pair of Lululemon shorts that I found during power hour for a dollar. I really wish these fit with me because these are super cute, but my butt just, both cheeks hang out at the bottom, which I, I know is a look, but so I, I'm so excited that I found that for a dollar. And honestly, if these sell, everything else gets paid for. Actually, a couple things in here, if they sold, I pay for everything that I purchased. So amazing. This is a pair of Columbia shorts. This is women's size 14. Uh, these look like a basic pair of Bermuda shorts, brown, Columbia. They have a cargo pocket, but these are actually roll tab. So I thought that was really neat. This this is something that I don't really see. Like I see roll tab pants all the time. I see roll tab shirts all the time, but I've never found a pair of roll tab shorts. So I figured I'd give these a try for a dollar. It's a great shot size, great basic, and the novelty of being able to roll it up. Found Peter Millar for a dollar. 
Uh, this is their Nano Lux line. So it's just a basic men's button down. So again, the button down is when the collar buttons down, which is why it's called a button down. Nice light blue check, uh, Easy Care Cotton. Uh, Peter Millar, their Southern, not Southern, their Summer Comfort line does pretty well for me. Uh, I picked it up again because it was a dollar. Another item that I am surprised sold so quickly, again, I, I've talked about in my What Sold videos that, you know, I, I still feel it's important to share what's, what's selling for me even though I'm two months behind still in my What Solds because I'm still selling stuff that you would think would only sell in the cold months. <laughs> And that's because I picked up this butter fleece. So this is Saheli butter fleece. And the reason I picked it up is because of this, this beautiful green teal color and it felt really soft. Again, butter fleece. It's supposed to be a fleece that feels like butter and it's absolutely gorgeous. And it has this quarter snap. So if you snap it up, it turns into a mock neck. But if you have it down, it's, it's just this nice like Peter Pan style collar. And this sold. Again, 24 hours after I listed it. So, you know, it, you wouldn't think a fleece would sell in May, at the end of May, which is when this sold. Uh, but this has two pockets, uh, two zippered pockets, and it's an amazing condition. And even in May, I am selling this kind of stuff. So both of those things have sold. So I kind of already paid for everything. Nice. I did pick up one accessory. I did look uh, at the shoes um, and the accessories, but this is the only thing I found. This is a Vintage Breakers Surf Shop hat by Blue 84. Blue 84 was founded in 1984. Um, this, I believe, is like a Y2K piece. It has great colors. I feel like this would also kind of fit in with Barbie core a little bit, but uh, for a dollar, I was definitely willing to pick that up. I like selling interesting vintage. Uh, I, I just like selling vintage in general. And I saw this color blocked type of polo. This is women's polo and it is a women's size medium. This is made in the USA. And I just thought that this was neat. This is giving me very much 90s. It has a half sleeve. It is a half sleeve polo or three quarter lengths. I guess it just depends on how big your arms are. But I just thought that this was really neat for a dollar to try and see what would happen. Oh, I have to pick this up now. <laughs> I'm getting to the bottom. So this is a pair of vintage Gap shorts. Uh, these are black denim. You guys know I love selling black denim. Black denim for me always sells the fastest. And these were a cute pair of little vintage booty shorts. Little two inch inseam, rolled up raw hem uh, and vintage Gap. Uh, it's so vintage, the tag is completely washed out. So I just listed it by the measurements. And I think that those will probably sell pretty quickly. This required effort, and I did not realize it was going to require effort when I picked it up. I just picked it up because I saw something that was bright green with a spear point collar. So this is vintage from the 70s. The brand is Mohawk. Uh, the reason why this took so long and effort is because this smelled disgusting. <laughs> so if you saw my men's thread up box I got for the Bronco and I said that the, the brown corduroy jacket smelled nasty, that that was this this reeked and I didn't realize it until I went to go wash it and then I like put it up by my face and realized oh no oh no and then this is polyester so uh it's a lot easier to get natural smells out of natural fibers it's a lot harder to get natural smells out of unnatural fibers so this is 100% polyester so this did require a couple of washes a an OxyClean soak and a vinegar soak to get the smell out. But smells now out, smells fresh, smells clean. And this is a men's shirt. So this is a men's completely see-through. I can see the camera right now. Uh, disco shirt. And it has a 15 and a half inch neck. That's how I know it's a men's because women's clothing doesn't get measured by the neck size because they just assume we have little necks. So uh, I listed this. It is now ready for a new home and for someone else to put their own body odor on it, I guess. I don't know. It's unnecessary for me to say, but I said it anyway. So this I have listed from my own closet. Now this I thrifted a while ago and substituted something out for it. So express size, small, ultra soft Jersey London shirt. This is just a big loose drapey shirt. It's in a great color. I think this color looks great on me. The reason why I am listing this, despite the fact that I love the shirt, 
and it was super comfortable is because I decided to keep that Asteroid shirt that I found, that ringer tee that you guys have seen me wear multiple videos already. I'm keeping that shirt. I'm probably keeping that forever because <laughs> I love it. It's super comfy. It's amazing. Uh, I remember playing Asteroids uh, at the bowling alley on the arcade when I was really little. So yeah, I know the Asteroids came out in 1977, but like that arcade at the bowling alley, which RIP that bowling alley did not survive COVID, <laughs> even though it, it's been a like pinnacle of Gloucester for like the fifth, since the fifties, I think. But I'm getting emotional. I was, I was really upset when I realized that they tore that place down because I had a lot of really good childhood memories there, but I'm keeping the Asteroids shirt and we'll just remember that bowling alley whenever I wear it. All right, so this has no brand tag in it whatsoever. It does have pockets, which is great. It has two pockets. This is just a pair of shorts, just elastic pair of shorts uh, and syrupy fabric. So syrupy fabric, uh, also known as Mexican blanket fabric, it's called Serape. <laughs> and uh, that's what this is made out of. This is giving me a very uh, Mary Jane culture, skater culture, like indie alternative culture. Uh, and these just look like a really comfy pair of lounge shorts. So I listed them for a dollar. I am more than happy to pick those up and see how they do. So the next item is a chambray a uh, cotton shirt from Lizwear. It is vintage. It is this nice light wash, which light wash denim, light wash sambre is what's on trend right now. Uh, these actually have rivets. It, it has riveted buttons. So I think this is actually a denim shirt and I need to change the listing. Here's, here's the listing I made, but now that I'm feeling this and looking at it harder, and touching it more. I feel like this is a denim shirt, especially with the rivets. Uh, I think I mislisted this, so I'm gonna go fix that. But I'll fix that after this video, so it'll be correct if you guys check my eBay store now, it'll be correct. But yeah, I thought that this was really cute. This is a size small, uh, and it's really pretty. And again, I think I can sell it. It's on trend, it's vintage. I think I can sell it now that I'm going to fix the listing and list it appropriately. I'm gonna put this down again because I need to. This, again, another piece I could not believe nobody wanted. Look at this thing. So this is a beautiful woven fabric. Uh, this is a wool blend. I, it may have come with a belt, but this is so old. <laughs> I don't think that that matters. This is Peerless of Boston, which is a brand. It's a, it's a wonderful vintage brand that I pick up whenever I can find it and it's not covered in moth holes. Uh, this is actually a brand that Melissa gifted me when she sent me a bunch of stuff and that skirt, despite it being a size 24, sold immediately. I saw this one. This is, this is, this is timeless. This, I feel like some really hip Instagram person would definitely wear this. This is gorgeous. Giving me very Southwest, very hippie boho vibes. It's got a back slit. Sadly, it does not have pockets, or it, this would be a perfect piece. But for a dollar, all day, all day I will buy that for a dollar. It's absolutely gorgeous. And even if this did have some holes in it, this fabric is just so cool that I would want to like save it. I mean, even if like the bottom had holes in it or something, I would just cut this off and make this a mini skirt. I don't know, there's, there's no holes in it. Let me be clear, I'm just saying, I would have bought this for a dollar even damaged because I would have been able to have made something beautiful out of it or I would have been able to uh, upcycle it into something that someone would still want to buy. So that thing was amazing. All right, last few bits. Last few bits and bobs. Okay, so these little, little vintage knit tops, I will buy and sell them all day long, especially in known brands or brands that are still popular today. This is a size medium petite. I know it looks very tight, but that's just because this is a knit, uh, this is a cable knit type of little sweater top. Uh, this has a lot, a lot of stretch in it. So I know it doesn't look like a medium, but I promise it is. Uh, it looks awesome on Karen. And this is Tommy Hilfiger. And I recently picked up another one of these in blue and it sold really fast. So for a dollar, I was more than happy to pick that up. For a dollar, this is the only reason I picked this up. This is Hickey Freeman. Hickey Freeman used to be able to sell for a lot, uh, but 
not anymore. But this is just a nice gray basic Pima cotton polo. It is a size medium. So I don't expect to get a lot for this at all, but uh, it is a known brand and it, we are in polo season and it's Pima cotton. So it's a little bit higher quality of a fabric. So hopefully someone will pick that up for me. This is also something I just picked up because it is the season and style. This is a very sheer, this is from Roxy. And this is a gold burnout style tank top with this beautiful pink beading. So this is actually beadwork. It's not a pattern or it's not a printed pattern on the fabric. This is actually beadwork all the way through. There aren't any beads missing. And I thought this was just absolutely super cute. It's a little bit too cropped for me to want to wear this and also a little bit too see-through, but uh, some beach girly wearing their bikini and a pair of throw-on shorts, this would look super cute. And the last piece I have to show you all, again, I paid a dollar for this. I also have to ship this out. <laughs> this is Chico's Travelers. This is in, this is brown. It's got a ruched three quarter length sleeve. This is a size two and it's sold already. So between the butter fleece, this Chico's piece and the t-shirt, I've already paid myself back for this haul. So I, th I think I paid like $30 for everything. This is a dollar a piece and there was a lot of pieces in here. So again, I'm already in the profit. I've sold three pieces, but all three of those pieces need to get shipped out. All three of those pieces that are getting shipped out sold within 24 hours of me listing them. So even on dollar days with a ton of other resellers, I found plenty of stuff to flip for a profit and uh, everything else from now on is going to be profit that sells after those three pieces and I'm already in the profit. So I hope this is interesting. If you live in the Richmond, Virginia area, uh, for the next couple of months, or if you're driving through on your way to vacation somewhere and you happen to be in Richmond on Tuesday from four to five, Diversity Thrift is doing these power hours. So highly recommend. They, they get a lot of donations. So even if you think, well, I'm not going to find anything, I, I think you will. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was not sponsored by the way. I just, I agree with Diversity Thrift's cause and, uh, I like making money. So I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye. Bye.